I was very struggling with getting motivated to build some project because <laughs> when you start a project, you do it a little bit and then you're stuck. It huh. just get into get up and you don't touch the code. So I decided to go into hackathon. They conduct hackathon. I had no team that day. I literally don't know anyone. So I joined their Discord server and got into the hackathon. Another person contacted me, bro. Can I join your team? You're from IIT Madras. So it was a leverage, and that guy was good. And uh, we did that project. And fortunately, I we won it too. Yes. Sir. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Stories of IIT and Vegas. And today we have Ahmed Akhar with us. So Akhar, thank you so much for coming here. And uh, could you please give us a brief introduction about yourself? Okay. So hi, everyone. This is Akhar, and currently I'm doing this PS degree standalone. I have just recently started my diploma level, and I'm not doing anything else other than this degree for now. Hmm. Okay, so Athar, how did you get to know about this biggest degree? Uh, it was uh, through a friend of mine. Like, uh, we were in a Discord server. So it was a professional server where people used to talk about startup and all. So I was a community mod there. So mm-hmm. that friend of mine introduced me that uh, okay, Athar, you don't want to do any conventional degree. You're not interested mm-hmm. in doing any college. To try this one because it give you a lot of you know. Mobility and you have a lot of things that you have a lot of freedom that huh. you can do what you want to and so like I I got interested and then I got into this degree. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. So how has your journey been so far? Like till you are in diploma level, foundation level, and you were doing which subject uh, you know you found the most interesting and which professor you love studying from the most. I mean, uh, to be very honest, I actually love the way the freedom this degree gives you. Like, uh, I I was like for maths and stats, it was a little bothering because I was not very good at it at first. But the math work was good. I love his lecture, so it was good. Like, I was able to make it up till now, and like, I have I I even had a long break between because I wanted to. I do a lot of stuff, so I kind of love this thing that sometimes if I want to do stuff fast, I can do it fast, and sometimes if I want to slow down, I have this option of so even slow Definitely. down. Yeah, yeah. It actually gives you the pace of how you can move. Yeah. That is the I think best yeah, advantage like, of this degree. Yeah, it's like sometimes a lot of things is going in your life, and you know, mm-hmm. a lot of struggle everyone has. So it's kind of was very helpful for me, like. For the first term, I was like doing all four courses. Then I again mm-hmm. did it for the next term. Then I had taken some break and gave just end term to, but to just make it up for my own personal stuff. So it was, it was good till foundation. Let's see what's next. Why? Right. So we got to know about that. You have won two international hackathons. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, could you please give us a brief description? What kind of hackathon is there? So, uh, basically, uh, when I was, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, I was very struggling with getting motivated to build some project. Because mm-hmm. when you start a project, you do it a little bit, and then you're stuck. It huh. just get into get up, and you don't touch the code. So, oh, I decided to go into hackathon. So, uh, I decided a community MLH, a major hackathon. Mm-hmm. They have a fellowship too. So, I'm very interested in their fellowship. Wow. So they they yeah. conduct hackathon. It is one of the biggest. You can say really reputed. So uh, first one I joined them. I had no team that day. I literally don't know anyone. So I joined their Discord server and got into the hackathon. And a, 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 another person contacted me. Bro, can I join your team? You're from IIT Madras. So it was a leverage, and that guy was good. Although he was very young, like that guy was in ten. Like he was a tenth grader, yeah. but he was yeah. Yeah. and uh, we did that project, and fortunately, I we won it too. <laughs> then after that, uh, one of my friend approached me that bro, you are also doing uh, online hackathons, which are hosted in Depot yeah. and yeah. platform like that. So, uh, could you join us too? So, there, I, there I made a team with 
four three more people and then i start participating in hackathon activities so it kind of like i get to make projects i get to understand what problem statements are and mm-hmm. how to actually you know build an mvp what a product company wants nice. so the second was uh, uh hackathon which was on quantum mechanics like it was okay. around quantum mechanics so like we have to make a project on quantum computing so it has many tracks like uh, they had uh, a, a traditional hackathon back that we just make something which helps you learn quantum computing or something like that they have tracks like idea thon that can pitch an idea related to quantum computing and then they had a pure quantum computing track which was actually tough it was black box for us and we took the risk because it has the most it has the best prizes too and fortunately we won that too amazing yeah so i thought uh, okay so what would be your advice to the students for for hackathon for online students to be how do you prepare and uh, what were the difficulties while you know preparing how did you overcome them so uh, my go to advice is that don't think so much before going because before i was like bro i don't know anything <laughs> i have not done my basics yet i i would suck at it i was like that but uh, once i get motivated okay let's try it there is no harm in trying so once you get to do stuff and you have a motivation okay if i do this i'll get a prize so mm-hmm. then you shift things fast you try to figure out stuff like for example uh, all these two hackathons we shipped in 3 days 3 days mostly just 3 days for us to make the whole mvp whole uh, ppts and every single thing so it okay. it, it gets very fast because mm-hmm. like the whole project it was complete black box okay. for us then we research mm-hmm. very extensively search other we go and look at other people code which is how they made it uh, what we can use what is what are the option mm-hmm. we have because with quantum mm-hmm. computing it's a black box we literally don't know what to do so we had to research a lot and once and like you know uh, there's one more good factor that i had access to perfectly so mm-hmm. it it is really helpful Uh, I had access of access of profit since very long but thanks to IDM because yeah. IDM student got profitability access I guess a year ago. Uh-huh. So I have been doing that. So I had good experience how to go and find the actual sources. So I research about four sources how people are doing certain stuff. Then then I pitch an idea and we made it yeah. in time. So that is a good place. But just do it. More like don't think about how I'm going to do it because it doesn't matter anymore. You just have to try it. Once you do it actively, uh, you know what to do next time, what you can correct next time. People think like I don't have a good team, I don't know anyone. But when you uh, when you go to community, like in a in a first hackathon, I literally don't know anyone. I was like, bro, I was not even going to make the project. Then the other guy pushed me, bro, let's make it. So I was like, okay. So it's like you can find team in the community because every hack have their own community yes yes definitely you put in intention that the people just come can make a team and then go ahead with yeah. it yeah very so uh, now what are your future plans regarding this degree how would you like to continue or do you have something else in your mind could you please share that with us to be honest uh I have been following all this tech world. I like I have been doing content writing before this degree. Mm-hmm. I was with real con- real good content writing. But uh, while doing about writing about AI and tech related stuff, I got interested in okay. I want to do tech now. I don't just want to write about it. So I got into got in the degree, and it was like the only reason I am uh, what the research I have and the way I see where world is moving. I see a lot of degree won't have really much like a college degree. A traditional huh. college degree really don't have very much value these days. I uh, when I work uh, work in hackathons, I so see they, people who are in ten years eight grade. Yeah, yeah, and and I mean, I literally uh, w- one of our friend is a dropout from ten, and he's mm-hmm. a CTO of a company in our team. So it's like people are doing crazy stuff, and you know, sometimes you need to have your own freedom, the way kind of mm-hmm. learning you want to do. So I took this degree, and my plan is same still. Like if I want to complete it fast, I'll just go fast pace and complete the degree real fast. Because I guess this degree can be completed in two and two and five years. Mm-hmm. Like I have calculated it. The fastest you can just complete it in two, yeah. two and a half years, and the longest you can go up to eight years. So yeah. I'm like, 
it, it have it has a full anonymity if i get a real good package i can do it slowly and if i if i'm like okay i'm free just do it fast so it's like that is my plan for this degree too it depends how the how the other big things come so also regarding the grade and grade as much as the guide that at night time so is it how to prepare for that or there any strategy you follow because you are a standard student so yeah. how was it preparing for you for this exam okay so uh, about the grade assignment so you know one thing one of my friend once said uh, when i was dropping when i was thinking about dropping out from college he told me that college teach you teach you stuff you don't want to do yeah so i was i was very sad about it okay i want get to know things get to do things which i don't want to do but uh, when i joined the degree it made me do stuff i hated at start like okay. so you have to make yeah. you have to do the assignment yeah. on time you have to submit it yeah. it will affect your grade mm-hmm. and it is like if we if you if you are going to traditional yeah. college most of there are it is not that loaded as much responsibility you have to <laughs> as much responsibility you have here because most of the college have you can easily get past the assignments you can easily pass the terms exam and some college have just little bit uh, dif- uh, difficulties in semester exam so yes. people just pass and they don't nothing but this mm-hmm. series like bro either you know either you get yourself educated or you can't continue this you mm-hmm. have to change mm-hmm. so for me it was like that in start i had very much difficulty with grade assignment and sometime i even ask help from my friends but then uh, i realized that i ha- i should do it myself so sometime yeah. if i have completed the syllabus so i try to solve it myself if i get a problem i ask someone and uh, there's a lot of community of itm so i just ask for i have problem with this question and so if i if i have not complete anything i still don't try to copy a graded assignment because if you copy it like then then you don't learn anything so yeah. i just try to massive googling like i copy the question and ask for clarity so. or chat gpt uh, how to solve this then i go on to solve it because it is uh, the way graded assignments are i have understand this that you have to solve it yourself every single time if you do that it is massively easy to pass this degree a lot of students don't do that and they have bags so yeah i realize it hard way to be honest i would suggest anyone listening to this they should do assignment on time on their by own then yeah all right so now that uh, almost everything we have covered any other thing you want to say do you have anything else uh, you want to share i mean uh, i'm kind of person who believe in execution so i would say just anyone who is thinking of should i do that should i do that uh, should i try this should i try this so i have this idea that i recently read a novel uh, so it was a very uh, very interesting uh, old novel it's called a million cats so okay. when when you go to find something cat a good cat so you pick one and then you see there is another one which is better than this should i hmm. take that one so it's like people are very lost it's like they are lost in analysis paralysis kind of stuff like hmm. we analyze so much and we don't execute anything i have been stuck exactly. on this for yeah. so long so my go to approach is bro just just know what you want 90% that is that done 90% of the work if you know what you want then okay. then you will get it that's how it is. like you you should have very much priority of what you want but mm-hmm. to have that okay i want this i want to uh, when i had a thought i want to reach this particular stage then you will make it possible but a lot of time people are not sure about it and they think bro i don't know this i don't have that much in me i am not very good at math i'm not very good at coding you should be like that you should just clear with you if you want to be at coding you are 90% sure about it you know then what you have to do you have to go and mm-hmm. practice it tirelessly yeah and you are good at that so that's my go to advice just know what you want and if you don't know what you want make uh, make it, make this priority that you want to know what you want ha uh, you don't have to be like that's okay, the I first want, step i have to figure out yeah i it, it shouldn't be like i i want to figure out what i want in mm-hmm. my whole life or something like that it is hard to know that just figure out what you want in next two weeks yeah like for my experience it just take two weeks to change your whole world if you work tirelessly So yeah. Yeah, such a wonderful advice. 
and uh, thank you so much for sharing this with all of us and thank you atha for being here it was yeah. lovely having you okay Thanks. then till next time we'll see you again okay then bye bye